Hello crochet crafters. Today we're going to add eyes to our amigurumi chicken pot holder. Not quite finished. I do have another pot holder series in green and I redid the face or the head of this pot holder I should say with a similar amigurumi style with a half double crochet so that it's more in uniform with what we're creating. I think it looks better. I also think that it's a little bit of an easier pattern to follow than the other. So hopefully if you did do the other green pattern that you can now try this one. And I'm going to create the eyes and I'm going to use a plastic needle. And the reason I'm using a plastic needle is it's just easier. And if you bump yourself, you're not going to end up with sores. And if you're doing a lot of crochet crafting, you might end up with a lot of sores on your hands, even just even if you're not poking yourself, but by using the metal needle. So I've just taken a little bit of black, 100% cotton, because you want to make sure you're using 100% cotton, because if you're not using 100% cotton, this might show burn marks. And so everything that I'm doing on this pot holder is 100% cotton. So for this one, I've got, I'm going to go ahead and do sort of a double, double stitch pattern here to make it thicker and to, to work. So I've doubled my yarn. And the key is for this and for any other pot holder you're creating, you want to make sure that you do not go through the whole thing because you're going to have a back stitch on the back of that pot holder. And if you're trying to sell it, it's not going to look pretty. So if you want to mark, if you want to come down here and see where this line is, and if you want to count how many in, one, two, three, and then maybe you want to put a pin here to see if that's the good space for the eyes and how that looks. Because everybody's idea of where they want to place their eye placement is different. So I like to place my eyes. I think I'm going to place mine right here. And I'm just going to kind of go through like this. And what I'm going to do is, as you can see, I'm not, I did not go through that back loop. I just went through the front loop. Okay. And I'm going to come back around through the same loop. And as I do that, I'm going to put my yarn through like this as if, if you are used to sewing, it's almost like you're tying off on that darning needle, that sewing needle. So for anybody that's familiar with sewing, this is going to be really, uh, really easy for them to follow that. So it's just kind of like you're tying a knot using that sewing stitch. And actually, if you want right now, you can tie, I, know I don't like tying a knot, but you're gonna go through it. So I'm just tying a knot with this front because it helps to create the eye a little bit. And I'm really a stickler about stragglers. A lot of people who teach crocheting say, oh, don't worry, you can cut that after the fact. But I want you to see what it looks like now without that. So I've kind of created the eye and I think what I'm gonna do, and again, you can, you can kind of work with this, is I'm gonna come through that stitch that I just tied. If I can get it through there, yeah. And I'm gonna come up and do one more loop and just kind of tighten it and so that's kind of my eyeball there and what I've done with that I'm going to go ahead and you know maybe I'll do this to kind of show you I'm going to make some eyelashes so I just cut it like this and there's there's strands in here so if you want to make some eyelashes, you can certainly do it like that if you want to leave them. If you don't, you can just kind of cut it off. But the biggest, the main, 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 main point in creating this eye or anything on the front of your pot holder is that when you go to the back, there's a little bit showing through and it's only because of the stitch. But you just want to make sure that your back stitch right here is not compromised. So I'm gonna go ahead and just finish off. I've got still some yarn on there. So I'm gonna to try to do an equally equally distant, I did one, two, so it was one, two, and I'm gonna to try to do an equally distant eye for this one. And again, I'm not pulling through the back loops, I'm just coming this way. And then I'm pulling through again, 
And then what I'm doing is if I'm stitching, I'm pulling through, I hope you can see, I'm pulling through here like this. And it's essentially just tying a knot off like you do when you're sewing. So if, you're, if you are a seamstress, you're going to have no problem with this. And then I'm not a big fan of knots, but for the eyes, I think that the knots kind of give it character because you're kind of creating your own eye here. And so that I make it similar to the other eye, I'm going to do the same thing. So whichever pattern you follow for the eyes, you probably want to follow it through for both so that you have that consistent look. And I'm going to give it again. I'm going to break these four. And I'm going to give it some eyelashes. And there we go. We have a, a pretty nice chicken with some flashy eyes. And then I'll do the beak in my next tutorial. Thank you for joining me today.